we see monetary policy is working. Uh, inflation has come down a lot. It was 8.1% last summer. It's 3.4% it's now. As widely predicted, the Bank of Canada moves the overnight rate up again, 25 basis points to 5%. Bank governors say inflation is coming down, but Canadians still seem to have enough money to spend that it's pushing prices up. Bank governors say they believe some households have extra savings from during the pandemic, while others are spending freely due to strong job security and low unemployment numbers. In our forecast, there is a path back to price stability with while maintaining growth. So there is there is no recession. Um, it you know we need a period of growth below trend, below potential to let supply catch up with demand. That's what's going to relieve those price pressures. But uh, we do think that there is a path back to price stability while with the economy still growing. The bank underlined the rate hike is necessary, with Tiff Macklem saying Discuss. bank governors considered uh, delaying a hike, now, but concluded a wait-and-see attitude could be too risky. If inflation rose again in the meantime, the bank would need to hike rates more later. We know that inflation and interest rates, the response to inflation, affect, um, affect people very differently. Um, and in particular, we know, we, we, we have said this many times, we know that the most vulnerable Canadians are the ones that are hurt most by, both by inflation and by higher interest rates. The average weekly expenses are going up anywhere from 100 to $230 a week. And that's not just related to all the, the talk around interest rates, that relates to groceries, uh, gas, rent, you know, just general housing um, has really increased dramatically over the last while. But some already feel the hurt. MNP takes a regular debt index of Canadians, and its most recent index shows more than half of Canadians polled are $200 away from not being able to meet all their financial obligations, and 35% of those polled are technically already insolvent. That is not making enough to cover both bills and debt repayments. You can tell from my gray hair, I've, I've been through this a couple of times. And, you know, if I compare now to 2008, 2009, I think now what we're seeing is that it's housing costs are just going through the roof. Uh, grocery costs are, are increasing, you know, dramatically. When we go back to 08, 09, it was more what you would call like a traditional re recession where there was uh, employers were laying people off, people were fighting to keep their homes, the housing prices had dropped because of all the mortgage uh, issues that happened in the states. Whereas this time what we're seeing is, you know, people are employed, uh, incomes are going up, but it's not keeping up to the monthly household expenses. In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee, City News.